Welcome to today's video, which is all about focusing on the neck, shoulders and upper back to relieve tension and increase mobility and improve your posture as well. So we shall begin sitting up nice and tall in our chair. Remember, make sure it's a nice sturdy chair, <clears throat> no arms preferably, and sitting up nice and tall, not all the way back. So and make sure your knees are over your ankles so you've got a very, very good posture. And we're just going to begin very slowly. Going to inhale the arms up just a little way and then exhale them down. And then we're going to gradually get them higher. Inhale up and exhale down. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose. Inhale all the way up this time. And exhale down. And one more time, inhale up and bring the palms together. And then exhale the hands down towards your heart center. Pushing those palms together and release. We're gonna take the arms out to the sides now. We're gonna do some palm flips. So this is gonna help with your shoulder mobility. Also, it warms up the body. So back and forth with those arms. Imagine you've got a ball in each hand and you're, you're holding it and flipping the hands with that ball. That's it. So nice and gentle. Remember not to hold your breath. That's it. We're going to do a few of those and then we're going to bring the fingers together and we're just going to stretch the arms out. So you're stretching them all the way up to the shoulder. I do this regularly as part of my warm up. And then we're going to push the palms away. So imagine you're pushing those two walls away from you. So you'll feel a stretch along the, the lower part of the arm. And then palms down again. And then we're going to bring them in. So you'll feel a stretch along the top of your arm. And then down again. And then we're going to face the front with the palms and then we're going to give ourselves a big hug. So grab your shoulders. Let your head hang down. And just relax here. Take a nice deep breath. And then very slowly lift your head. We're going to inhale the arms open. So make a note of which arm's on top. Because we're going to do the other side. So the other arm is on top this time. And the head forward. So showing yourself some love. Just relax the head. It's a lovely stretch across your upper back, your neck and your shoulders, which is what it's all about for today. And lift your head. Inhale those arms open. And lower them down. In between, just a few shoulder rolls or shrugs. Just a few back and forth. Okay. We're going to come into our cactus arms now. So we're going to draw the shoulder blades towards each other's palms are facing forward elbows bent so you're getting a stretch across your chest as I say just imagine those shoulder blades drawing towards each other big stretch across the chest keep breathing keep smiling <laughs> and then bring the elbows and the palms together so you're getting a stretch across your upper back and then release place your hands close to your knees and we're going to bring the elbows up. We're going to do our cat cow. So we're going to tuck the chin and round the back, which is wonderful for your spine. Exhale. And then inhale, bringing that chest up. Head back, bringing the chest forward into cow pose. So you're just going to go back and forth with the breath, exhaling into cats. So you're rounding that back, tucking your chin and then inhale up. And nice and gentle, remember, just go with your breath. Into cow pose. We're going to do one more set. Exhale into cat. And inhale. Into cow pose. And then very slowly and gently coming back into 
our chair mountain, sitting up nice and tall with our hands on our knees. We're going to do some um, arm circles now. So we're going to take that hand, the right hand, and we're going to lift it up and take it all the way back. So in a circle, obviously if you can only do a small circle, if you can only reach there, just listen to your body always. Just do what you can. So we're going to do four back. You can twist as you bring that arm down and then we're going to do the other way. So we're going to bring them forward, again listening to your body, make those circles small if you've got tight shoulders, gradually they'll get bigger. Don't strain. Other side, so circles, left arm, so again Looking back, remember, do that circle to what suits you. Kind of twist the body, take the arm back. It's wonderful for the mobility of your shoulders, obviously. But give yourself time, go gentle. And then back the other way. So we're going to bring that hand forward. Last one, and release. Okay, we're going to do a across the body stretch now, which is often what athletes do. So we're going to stretch that left arm across the body and bring the right hand up so you're getting that stretch here and across your upper back, so in the shoulder. Again, listen to your body, don't strain. Keep breathing. And we'll do the other side. So bringing that right arm across the body and the left arm comes up. That's it, keep breathing. And release, and then we're gonna do the other stretch. So we're gonna take the left hand up, clasp the elbow with our other hand as much as you can, and then just take that hand down behind. Shoot for that stretch up the arm. And again, obviously the shoulders Keep breathing, try not to hunch forward too much, sit up as straight as you can. And then we're going to inhale both arms nice and wide and then take that right hand down and clasp that right elbow with our left hand. Keep breathing, that's it. And release. Roll your shoulders in and give those arms a shake because <clears throat> we're going to do eagle arms now which is a a real favourite of mine, I do eagle pose when I do my standing classes where you're binding your legs as well as your arms. We're just focusing on arms today. So the way I, I like to do it is to bring those arms really wide so you're getting a stretch across your chest and then bring them as far forward as you can. We're going to cross, cross right elbow over left. Now, if you don't want to bind your hands, you can just grab your shoulders. But if you want to, if you're flexible, you can bind your hands with your palms together. Or I like to clasp mine together. But again, if you want to do that, you find what works for you. If you find just holding your shoulders works, then that's absolutely fine. So you're getting that lovely stretch across your upper back. It's wonderful for your joints, your elbows, your ankles, elbows, elbows, shoulders and wrists. I'm used to saying it when we do the whole thing with the um, knees and hips and ankles involved. And then to just slowly release. Give them a shake in between. Loosen them up and then we'll do it again. Big stretch and then bring them forward. So bring those shoulders as far forward as you can. Left elbow crosses the right. Again, shoulders if you wish or hands or palms together. And actually, as you hold this pose, you, it, you can feel them actually loosening up as you hold it. And when you hold your arms like this, the joints are being flooded with synovial fluid. So you've got to think of that like an oil can for your joints. So good. And slowly release. And again, in between, just shake them out and do a few Shrugs, back and forth. Okay, we're going to do a side stretch now. So hold on to the 
right side of your chair, inhale your left arm up, and then just reach over. You haven't got to go far, just so you're getting a nice side body stretch and you're stretching out that arm and reaching up that, that hand. Keep breathing. And lower it down. And we're going to do the other side. Inhale the right arm up. Big stretch, a little leaning over to the left. Don't lean too far. Don't want you to topple off your chair. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. And release. Okay, we're going to do thread the needle now. Seated thread the needle. This is another favourite of mine that I do on the mat. So the seated version, we're going to bring the right arm, we're going to lean forward and you're going to bring that right arm down on both knees. You're going to hold that left knee with your right hand and we're going to lift that left hand up and then we're going to thread that left hand underneath. So you're bringing that arm down and then we're going to take that right arm up. So you're doing a twist here as well and then bring it down. And then we're gonna unthread that needle again. And one more time, thread it. Twist the body and take that right arm up. And then down, remember to keep breathing here, bring that arm back. Left hand comes back up, lower it down. Then sit up and we're going to do the other side. You can really feel that stretch across your upper back. It's wonderful if you've been sitting at a desk all day. Okay, left arm comes across. We're going to take that right arm up and then we're going to thread the right arm underneath and then take that left arm up and then come back down and then unthread and then thread it again. <laughs> and left arm up. And bring it down. And then unthread and sit up. So this is wonderful for the mobility of your shoulders and your upper back. Okay, we are now going to focus on the neck. So we've done arms and shoulders and upper back. We're going to do a little bit of work for the neck now. So we're going to start by just turning the head gently to the right. So looking, keeping the shoulders facing forward, you're just turning your head to the right very slowly, very gently. And then you're going to slowly turn it to the left. So really, really slowly. And then slowly back to the right. No jerky movements. Look after that neck. And slowly, one more time, back to the left. Now bring your head back to the centre, and then we're going to look down. So tuck your chin, feel the stretch in the back of your neck, and then lift, inhale. As you bring the head up, the chin comes up, stretch the neck. And then very slowly and gently bring it back to neutral and then tuck it again. So really, really gently with that neck. And then slowly up so it kind of comes back to centre. And then looking up. And back to the front. Okay, we need a side to side movement now. So we're going to bring this time I want you to hold on to the left side of your chair and hold on to the leg or your, or your left thigh, whatever. I want you to take your right ear down towards your right shoulder and by holding on you're getting that extra stretch here. That's it. And then slowly lift up. We'll swap sides. Right hand holds on. Left ear down to the left shoulder. It's a lovely stretch up the side of the neck. Getting rid of all the tension. And slowly back up. And one more time. So holding on to the left, uh, left leg, left leg of the chair. Letting your right ear come down. 
to the shoulder. And slowly up. We're going to do it one more time to the left, left ear down. And then bring the head back up. And now we're going to do full circles because we've really loosened that neck up. So start with the left, take this down to the left ear and then tuck the chin and roll that head really slowly. So then you're taking the right ear to the right shoulder and bring the head up. And then we're going to go back the other way. Right ear to right shoulder. A gentle roll, left ear to left shoulder. And then bring that head up. And in between, just roll the shoulders. Okay, we're going to do a chest opener now. So we're going to take the hands behind and grab the back of the chair, back of the seat of the chair. We're going to bring the chest forward. So you can grab hold of whatever part of the chair you like, be the arms or the back of the seat. Arms, I mean the arms, the side of the chair, I mean. So bringing that chest forward, a bit like a cat-cow, but you're just really opening the chest. And then release. We're going to do that stretch again, giving ourselves a hug. Folding down. And then slowly lifting the arms again. And the head, other side, remember the other arm on top like we did earlier. Folding down. And then lifting up. And we're going to do one more pose before we do our little breathing at the end. So we're going to do a spinal twist. So we're going to cross that right leg over the left. We're going to hold that right knee with our left hand. We'll take the right hand behind and we're going to look over our right shoulder. So you're opening your chest and you're stretching out the shoulders. You're lifting out of your lower back. So you've got a nice straight back. Keep breathing, this is wonderful for your digestion as well. All these little extras with these poses. And slowly release back to the front. Other side, left knee crosses over the right. Hug that left knee, take your left hand behind this time. Lift up, inhale, and then exhale over that left shoulder. I love twists. I think they're absolutely wonderful for the body. And release. Okay, so bringing those feet back out in front, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to inhale the hands up. Bring the palms together. Exhale through the mouth. Bringing the hands down. We're going to place our hands on our knees and we're going to just sit back slightly. We're going to relax now so you can lean against the back of your chair. We're just going to take a few moments to feel the exercises that we've done. So close your eyes, place those hands on top of your, your thighs or your knees and just breathe in and out through your nose. Okay, so slowly open your eyes, hands together as we say namaste at the end of this chair yoga session. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've really enjoyed uh, this session. Um, I'd love to hear how you feel, how, you know, how your shoulders and your back and your neck feels after this. Mine feel really good. Hope yours do too. Um, don't forget to check out my other videos. I have lots of other chair yoga videos and also all standing yoga videos if you feel like you want to progress to, to the next stage. I've had a few people write to me and say they've gone from chair yoga to standing, which is absolutely wonderful. But remember, progress over perfection. We just want to be here stretching and feeling good. We're not trying to be perfect. 
Thanks again for watching. I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.